would it make you or help you be a better parent to your child? So for the pain, first of all, um, suddenly uh, I've been prescribed painkillers my whole life. You can't parent on painkillers. I can get a prescription of Dilaudid any day. I can't be a mom on Dilaudid. Um, so I would just live with pain. Um, anyone who's lived with pain knows that makes you cranky. It makes you irritable. It makes you tired. Um, suddenly, when the pain started edging off, I was able to go do things with my daughter instead of being stuck in bed. Um, and then as the anxiety eased, I was able to let loose my grip a little bit. Uh, with intrusive thoughts, I constantly am thinking about the things that could happen Worst to my case kid. Scenario. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Um, and as I was able to deal with the anxiety, I was able to let my kid be a kid a little bit more without constantly being afraid of all the terrible things that could happen to her. Liz, let me bring you in because again, I, I point out, this is not a one part of the country conversation. When Leah posted her story, when you highlighted it in the magazine, you heard from so many women experiencing this. I know. Well, cannabis has been a natural remedy for centuries, right? But because more and more states have legalized it and the idea of medicinal marijuana has become more accepted, uh, moms were coming out of the woodwork and sharing with each other in chat rooms. Were you and surprised? With because us? you talk to moms about parents, yeah. about everything. Yes. Were you surprised that? the quick response to women saying, that's me. I see yes. myself in Leah. Yes, and, and, and it's very interesting because it's more accepted and it's, it's almost the antithesis of the wine mom meme. You know, we always used to sort of laugh and chuckle at the idea that mom needs a glass of wine to unwind at the end of the day. Um, this is in so many ways much more safe mm -hmm. um, because you're having small amounts of either edibles or a spray that you put on your tongue. Um, you're never getting a high. You know, there's never this idea that you're sitting in the corner doing a bong. This is a way to make yourself feel better and lessen the anxiety. You know, I mean, this brave woman here in the audience, actually just a few inches <laughs> from you, I didn't even know she was going to say that's how she unwinds every day. And she said, listen, I have a little smoke and it knocks off the edge. 11 states in Washington, D.C. now legalize marijuana for recreational use. 33 states have legalized medical marijuana, but there's still a lot of anything that says mom, yeah, somebody's right. gonna shame you about it. That's, a, so, that's right. The, the, we're in a culture of mom judging, whether it's like work at, you know, working moms, stay at home yeah. moms, breastfeeding mm -hmm. bottle. Uh, and now because I think we're less familiar with the science behind cannabis, yeah. um, it's new, uh, we go right to shaming and blaming moms. It is, and uh, in fact, um, joining us from Cyber Hall, one of our, our TAM fam members is Jen, I introduced you to her earlier. She's a founder of Digital Magazine for Parents Who Choose Cannabis. Um, Liz, you said you've been shamed um, by friends. I, as I understand it, you were with some friends. They were all drinking and enjoying themselves. And the minute you said you unwind with marijuana, you were judged. So absolutely. I do think there's a double standard regarding moms who choose cannabis. Um, when I came out of the cannabis closet about five years ago. Cannabis um, closet. I've heard it all. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Oh, that's the best. So you came out of the <laughs> cannabis closet. So I did that because I firmly believe that by sharing our stories, we can end the stigma and eventually dismantle the racist drug war. Yes. Um, and by, yes. by and large, I got a positive response from people who were close to me, my family, my friends, my colleagues. But it was other moms, actually, who um, shamed me the most. So wow. I would say there were certain people who I knew because of my daughter's relationship with them. And we would meet at the park every week or have a play date. Um, and it was one of those situations where they found out about my cannabis use and my cannabis advocacy right. and then just ghosted us. And, I, and um, I, I also heard there were moms that, and I don't want to put anybody's business out there, but there were moms that in your social circle who were taking prescription pills or drinking and somehow thought that that was better than what you were doing. Well, absolutely. I mean, I, and I don't want to shame anyone either yeah. because I don't want to get into that shaming moms for what they need. Um, but I do think that cannabis is a safer uh, alternative recreationally to drinking. And also it can be a replacement for um, either opiates, um, benzos. I think a lot of women are choosing cannabis as a more natural Magic. remedy for that. Yeah, it is fascinating.